everybody. Welcome to Yoga Express. We're going to get started in a second. Find a spot on your ground. Find a comfortable spot for yourself on the ground. And we're going to spend about two minutes there. Being, enjoying ourselves, having a great time, and getting ready for yoga. Okay, we are live. Wonderful. Great. So all you need, as always, is just a mat, yourself, an open mind, and I have strongly just some water. Okay. So I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all ready to give a half hour and eat honest. I'll give you a little secret. Even if you only do like two or three stretches and you take a nap for 20 minutes, I'm not going to tell anybody you're doing what your body needs. And um, you have to tell people you're doing yoga. I would obviously suggest that you stretch a little bit, but if that's what your body's telling you, sometimes you just need some quiet time. Take three more breaths. Okay, beautiful. We're going to stand on up. So my name is Janet. If I didn't introduce myself, I don't think I did. If we haven't met before, this is a 30-minute yoga practice where we just just change things up a little bit. Get out of the, the work routine. So we're going to come and we're going to have our hands in center in prayer. We're going to bring our shoulders back and down. We're going to stand up, stand up nice and tall. Then we're going to bring those arms up, straight up. And then we're going to tilt a little bit longer. We're going to come back to center. We're going to tilt a little bit the other way. We're going to come back to center. We're going to step one leg up. We're going to step the other leg up and then bring our hands to our in this like field goal cactus like position. We're going to do three squats. We're going to come down and up, push up, reset. Down and up, reset. Down. And up, reset. We're going to take our hands down. We're going to step one foot out. We're going to step the other foot out. We're going to have our hands on our hips. And we're going to lean. To the center. And lean the other way. To the center. Bring those arms out. Lean forward and kind of cartwheel a little bit forward. One hand up, one hand down. We're gonna come up, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna lean forward and pivot. Come back up, let's do that again. Let's lean, let's see if we can go a little bit farther forward and then come down. Hands here, but it's not holding on for your life. And come up. Lean forward. Ugh. And come on up. Come down. We're going to pivot on those feet. So one foot is in front and one foot is in back. It doesn't matter which one because we're going to do both. So no worries. All I'm going to do is take my hands 
and come all the way down on this one side. I have a tiny little bend in my knees, as much of the straight back as I can handle. And then come up. I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to bend this front knee and let it come into this little runner stretch here. I'm on my fingertips, but if I feel a little bit more flexible, I can be farther down on my hands or on a block or something like that. I'm going to drop that back knee and I'm going to lean a little bit more. I'm going to tuck those back toes under, and I'm going to come back up and through, all the way up. And then I'm going to turn and face the other way. Same thing for this side. So I'm going to walk, roll, whatever I got going on, down that leg, flat back. Now I'm going to lean forward a little bit more. I'm going to bend that front knee and I'm going to reach the ground. And I'm going to bend that back knee and lean forward more. Tuck those back toes under and come back up and come all the way back up. Both feet facing forward, nice wide stance. Hands on my hip. I'm going to lean forward and then just drop one side of my body, one shoulder forward. Come back to the center and the other way. I come back to the center. I'm going to bring those hands as close to the ground as I can, and I can spread my feet a little wider. Your fingertips can touch and can make a little hand tent, or there you can be completely on the ground, whatever works for you. And we're going to walk those hands a little bit towards one leg. And then come back to the center. And then the other leg. Back to the center, put the hands on the hips, and then come on up, nice and slow. Heel toe and heel toe in. Back to hands in front. Shoulders back and down, two breaths. Arms up, lean one way. To the center, lean the other way. To the center, turn and face the front of your mat. Swan dive down, bend the knees generously, hands on the ground. Step one foot back, step the other foot back, and come into a downward dog. Take a couple seconds of play here, stretch out those feet, pedal, the legs, whatever you got, and when you're ready, find some stillness. And let's drop to those knees into a tabletop. Go through quick little cat cows. 
Come on, up into your Halloween cat. And then your Halloween cow. Last year I dressed up for Halloween. This year I did not. Well, not, well I did dress up for the Halloween contest, but not for your practice. And release, because I was a lifeguard this year and I am not doing the yoga in for bathing suit. Straight out refused, sorry. Um, and release. Okay, come to a nice flat back. Let's kick one leg back. Bend that knee. Bring that knee towards the nose. And then release, bring that leg in front. Start a nice low lunge again. I'm going to bring that foot towards the outside of the mat. And I'm going to bring my hands towards the inside of that arch of that foot. I can either stay up here. I can come on to my forearms on a block or on the ground, depending on how flexible you are. As you know, I am not very flexible, so I'm going to stay up here, but I am feeling a stretch in the inner part of this, this leg here. Um, up to my fingertips. So I'm going to bring that foot towards the middle of the mat. One hand on each side of the foot. And I'm going to come up. Bring those arms up. Do a little bit of a back bend. That feels okay. If not, I can be up nice and tall. Let's bring that foot back behind, but we're not done yet. We're going to bring it back behind. We're going to stretch out that calf. I'm going to lift up, cross it over, and sit back. Glute stretch. All right, release, reset. Other side, kick it back for a second, lift it up, and bend that knee, bring that knee to nose. Release, and then bring that foot in front. Then bring that foot over to the side of the mat, bringing those hands on the inside and leaning forward. This knee might come out a little bit to the side towards the back wall, and that's okay. On those fingertips, bring that foot towards the middle, one hand on each side. Come on up. Arms up or a little back bend, whatever you did on the other side, and that makes you feel comfortable. And release. Bring that knee back behind. Straighten out, calf stretch. And come up, over, and back. Nice stretch. And then release, come back so you're on your knees. Press yourself up so you are up nice and tall. And we're going to do one of the two things. You're going to just have your hands up and do a little back bend here. Or you can tuck your toes under and lean back and do a back bend here supported by your ankles. If you have the flexibility to not be on your toes and come back to your ankles with a flat foot in the ground, beautiful. Do that. No worries. Whatever you want to do, I want you to be able to breathe the whole time. 
and I want you to be able to get back out of it without having to kind of fall backwards onto your side. So your choice. We're good. We're going to hold that for five breaths. Okay. So I'm going to do the one where I tuck my toes under, but feel free. Arms up, little back bend, bigger back bend, or full camel. So your side. And come back out and bring those legs to the ground and come into this little side saddle and Jessica did this stretch in her um, yin class the other day so I'd like to show her how to for that and then steal it all right so we're giving giving the appropriate gratitude and acknowledgement to her teaching me the stretch. So we're gonna be here. So I have just one leg, it's just bent, and this other leg is here. My knee is just kinda full back behind, or my knee is bent, my foot is full back behind towards my glutes. So I, the idea is for me to stretch this quad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn a little bit sideways, and then I'm gonna lean back, and then immediately I feel a stretch here. You might be a little different, so you may have to, to change around a little bit, but leaning forward or back, left to right, until you feel a nice stretch on this group. Let's release most of that same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna switch it up. Everything else out. I'm going to make sure that I'm good to go. And then I'm gonna do a little twist and a little lean back. And it may not match exactly on each side, so if it doesn't, don't worry. And release on, hook that thing, and lay that on your back. <clears throat> bring those knees in. Now, we're going to bring those legs up in the air. So if you have some sort of inversion practice here and you would like to go into it, use that this time to do so. If you don't have inversion practice, just stick with me. Let's bring one knee in, the other knee in, one leg up, the other leg up, and then bring those hands. Bring one foot down, bring the other foot down, and go into some bridges. So lift those hips up, and back down. Lift those hips up, and back down. Three more. Up, back down. If you're still doing the inversion practice, still stay with your inversion practice. I'll let you know when that time is up. I know sometimes it takes people a little bit of time to get in and out. I don't want to rush that. All right, so let's do single legs. So you can either cross one leg over into a figure four or bring that leg straight up in the air, your choice. And let's lift up and back down.
four. And five. All right, let's bring those legs up in the air one more time. So one leg up and the other leg up. And if you are doing your own inversion practice, this is the time we are going to be finishing up and I'm just going to come out of it now. One foot down, the other foot down, and then bring those knees out to the side, feet to touch, hands on the low belly. We have five breaths here for everyone to join us in this position. And then take the hands to the outside of the thighs, push them together. Cross one foot over, and whatever the bottom leg is, is the way that we're twisting. Reach this all the way to that one side, and then take that top arm and open it up. Bring that arm back in, and let's roll to the other side. So leg on top, and let's twist all the way, and then take that top arm and open up. Come back to the center. All right, let's grab behind the thighs and we're gonna roll three times and sit up. All right, sitting on up, if you wanna grab some water, this is a really good time. And we're gonna put one leg in front of the other. physically lift my hips off the ground and reset every time I move. So I make sure that not any lumps or bumps are underneath each other, that I'm up nice and tall all the way. <laughs> all right, so let's just roll a little forward and back, left and right into little circles. And the other way. Back to the center and walk those hands in front. Switch the legs because you know that was going to happen. <clears throat> and we're going to little circle one way. And little circle the other way. And then walk those hands forward. Back to the center. Bring those legs in front so they're nice and neutral. Bring those hands together in prayer. Toes pointed up, elbows out to the side, shoulders back and down. Lift those arms up and lean a little bit more into the center and a little bit the other way. Into the center, bring those arms forward and down. So we're stretching out the backs of the legs. We already stretched out the front of the legs, we're gonna stretch out the back of the legs, toes pointed up. And 
and then release. Bend one knee, bring that leg in, and we're going to give ourselves a big squeeze and a little twist. Pass is almost over for today. I wish flies up. Center. Other leg and bring it on in. Big squeeze and then twist. Come back to the center. Both legs out. Sitting up nice and tall. Take your hand, bring it to the opposite ear, and then ever so slightly. Tiny bit of pressure, bring that elbow to shoulder so they're close together. And release, let's do the same thing on the other side. back to center and set yourself up for Shavasana. So if that means grabbing socks, shoes, sweatshirt, whatever you got, we're going to spend about two and a half minutes in Shavasana today. So class is not over yet, so don't leave. Tucking those shoulder blades under, letting those palms rest face up, nice and neutral and relaxed. Let those feet just flop out to the side. Take three more breaths here. And then start wiggling those fingers and those toes. Let's bring our hands to our belly. Turn and face one way. And lift the center. And then turn and face the other way. And then come back to the center. Bring one knee in, bring the other knee in, roll to one side, and use that top arm to push yourself up. 
there we have it. Thanks for coming to Yoga Express with me today. I hope you had an enjoyable time. I hope you got a little bit of a break from your day. And guess what? I hope I'll see you again later. Have a wonderful day.